Breaking news today, we have new pictures, finally new pictures released, just released from China. Crazy, crazy, crazy because they just released today from Tianjin one, the camera and while NASA didn't release anything about Mars captures from the high-rise camera on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. Yeah, what a shame, what a shame. These pictures. Come on, enjoy the dot, look at this dot. You know what this uh, looks like? Remember those pictures from ExoMars? This? Remember this? It's crazy because this camera and this is the, the most important from the ones of uh, Mars, which is NASA high rise camera, Tian Jin One camera, that is the one that just released this. Very similar, although from a different perspective. And the other from ExoMars, the previous one from the European Space Agency. First analysis. Although it's um, full of uh, pixels here or whatever this is, this, this is not moving. Should be stars or something because these cameras remember are on space. We have some blinking stuff that we can't identify what is it. It's impossible to me to, to say what is it. It's weird, but we can't say. You see some blinking stuff here as well look it will pop here bam see mm, i can't say anything about that very pixelized but if you can look at it i, I zoomed it the, the more that i can if you look at it you can see exactly what we saw this was before perihelion but it's still the same the nucleus without any tail. We'll see now in the coming weeks if it <clears throat> if it develops that coma, that uh, surrounding gas from the activity of the sun impacting it. <laughs> so far, it looks like it's still the same, but we can still see this uh, smoke or whatever it is around, probably. I don't know what is it, it's the composition, the composition we know from scientists that is nickel without almost any iron, that is super industrial, we don't know anything in in universe right now, a natural thing that has only just a small amount of, of iron, so it can perfectly be, it can perfectly be alien made by design because we know that we have that in on earth made by us humans it's something industrial so an alloy so it's the thing that um, i don't understand man yes it's valid their hypothesis of maybe it's a natural a different star system that has a different uh, different physics or compositions or the stars are different whatever that causes an object to be natural but with just a few iron for such an amount of nickel we don't know, because we don't know anything like that, so we suppose that it's an hypothesis, maybe it's that. But if you you don't know anything in the universe like that, but you know that humans do that. So an intelligent civilization does that. Nature doesn't, but an intelligent civil well, intelligent. An advanced civilization does that. So... It's common sense to think, okay, it can be in another star different and natural, but also can be that someone like us, or even better, is doing exactly the same in another star system, or not. Or not. 
Do I have to wear a, a tin foil to think like that? Or is it common sense? Do I have to be so different? D -d -d I don't know, man. I don't understand. I don't understand. Well, maybe I, I have a clue about it. Is this a reverse image of the way it's traveling? Interesting question. This is a pro. You see? And they pointed here. Let's see. Oh, yes, you are right. Because if this is right, th this is all from the Chinese Space a Agency. You can see that we have here. Look, three atlas, it's here. It's moving from left to right. What an excellent question. You see? And then, bam. So, yes, it's, it's reversed. You're right. It's a footage. It's the only footage they have with uh, the position of it. But they have the probes here, a simulation. You see this? And then they have also here the probe around Mars. And it's the same here as a previous one. But this time they put here the solar system. And you can see it was when 3i Atlas here was approaching Mars. And they have a... Uh, Another one, that is this one with the three atlas approaching Mars. So they did this one, then this one with both, and then this one that is the most important to, to clarify that, uh, that position. And you're right, you're right. It's a reverse image. No tail, no tail, no tail. Tiago, thank you for expanding how we see the universe. But why must alien origin mean danger to the Earth? We sent the invitation. <laughs> right, that man. <laughs> we invited them. When, for the people that don't know, when we sent in 1977 Voyager 1 and 2, and previously Pioneer 10 and 11, all of them carried our information. Pioneer with a metal plaque and Voyager 1 and 2 with a golden plaque that had many stuff about us, draws, including music from Mozart. Now think, was that music sent and the CD sent for microbes to listen or whatever? No. Back that time, in all the four moments, they knew, or they believed, better saying, we don't know if they knew or not, they at least believed that there's more intelligent beings out there in space. Otherwise, you won't send that information. If you send it, it's because you believe. Otherwise, you will send an apple or a pear for microbes to eat. They will be satisfied. Not a CD with the position of the Earth in, in the solar system and Mozart and whatever more stuff they, they sent there for intelligent beings.